watching me today on the menu. I was feeling a little nostalgic. We're in the year of the COVID, you know, all that. Everything's shut down, which sucks, including the San Diego County Fair, which has one of my favorite things to eat this time of year, the uh, shrimp ramen burrito. I know it sounds really weird. It's from this place, a little, you know, shack inside the fair called Chicken Charlie's. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it, but it is incredible. So we're going to make it. Ramen, shrimp. Super easy. We got some whole shrimp we're gonna throw in and cook in with this, and uh, it's got Funyuns. Can't go wrong. So for the ramen, we're just gonna cook it as per the directions on the back here. Super easy. Uh, as soon as that's done, we'll get this thing put together. The one thing we are gonna do is throw the shrimp, shrimp in with the uh, ramen so they get a chance to cook. And it's gonna just be as easy as rolling it up. So we'll see you in a second here. All right, we got our water boiling. We got a ramen, that's going in. We're going to let this cook for three minutes, so it says on the package. All right, it's been uh, three minutes now. We're ready for the little seasoning packet here. This goes in. We're going to turn the burner off. That all goes in. Going to give this a nice little stir, make sure everything's all dissolved. And then we have about 10, 30, 40 shrimp here. Uh, I wanted it really shrimpy. These don't cook, take long at all to cook, so those are just going all in at the same time here. And those should just take like a minute or two to cook in this soup. You'll be able to tell when the shrimp are done, they turn this nice little pink color here. So everything's ready to go. We're gonna strain off the liquid now and uh, get to the next step. All right, this is super simple. I mean, ramen is probably one of the easiest things to cook. Every college kid grows up on it, right? So we got our ramen with our shrimp. Uh, what we're gonna do next is add a little bit of teriyaki sauce into this just to add a little bit extra flavor per their directions And then they also use just a little bit of sriracha in here We're just gonna mix this up All right, we are ready to assemble this burrito. It's that simple. So at the fair they have these sweet red giant tortillas I looked everywhere, internet, stores, I couldn't find anything. So we're stuck with the normal burrito tortilla. Um, we're just going to lay this in the middle here. Got a ramen, our shrimp, the next secret ingredient. And it sounds weird, but it's amazing. Funyuns. It has just a nice crunchy texture to this. We'll put a little handful of these in here. Maybe crunch it up just a little bit and make it a little easier. And then we're just going to top it with some green onions as well. Yeah, why not? Just a little more sriracha. And then when wrapping the burrito, bring these over. That comes over. We squeeze tight. And roll. And there you have it. Chicken Charlie's ramen burrito. Can't wait to dig into this thing. All right. So before we try this thing, looks amazing. Uh, it's beer of the daytime. Such a short recipe, almost didn't fit it in, but you know, we can't forget that. So today on the menu, we have Refuge Brewing's Baja Crush. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Let's find out. This is an unfiltered IPA with mosaic and lemon drop hops. Looking at 42 IBUs and a 6.2% uh, ABV. So let's check this thing out. All right, here we go. Uh, a little hazy, super foamy. <laughs> Again, that was just foam. Yeah, although super citrusy on the uh, on the nose here. It's got a really nice hop profile to this. Um, almost a little bit like a lemon drop. Hence the lemon drop hops, I'm assuming. But yeah, you, you get that sweetness with a little bit of the, the, you know, sour, a lot of citrus. This is really tasty. Maybe sit on the beach in Baja with it. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to this burrito, right? All right, here we go. That's what we're looking at. We got shrimp, ramen, a couple of onions. Let's do it. Oh man, take me back to the fair. The noodles have so much flavor from boiling in that seasoning packet, plus the extra, you know, a little teriyaki sauce and sriracha. 
you get the shrimp in there. The Funyuns, like I said, just add a little bit of crunch and saltiness. This thing is so good. Super easy to make, start to finish, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, boil up four or five packs, you can do a whole family, not a problem. You guys, thanks for showing up. That's Brobecuing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Any comments, thumbs up. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.